The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities, some consider to be unnatural. Is it possible to learn this power? You are on this council, but we do not grant you the rank of Master. What? With all due respect, Master, is he not the Chosen One? Is he not to destroy the Sith and bring balance to the Force? I want more. And I know I shouldn't. The oppression of the Sith will never return. You have lost. No. 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 You will die! Once more, the Sith will rule the galaxy. You have allowed this Dark Lord to twist your mind until now. Until now, you have become the very thing you swore to destroy. You underestimate my power! Don't try it! You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy this and not join them! Bring balance to the Force! Not leave it in darkness! Alright, hello, and welcome to this behind the scenes video. In case you couldn't tell, that footage that was just shown to you was the raw footage of the Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith recap. In this video, I'm going to be showing the process of how I did some of the things I did and some clips that I filmed while making this video. Also, I'm going to be answering some of your guys' questions. So if you want to see a certain part of this video, just go to this timestamp that I have on the screen right now.
How many frames per second is this shot at? Hmm, uh, let's see here. Uh, 15. How long did it take to produce this all together? Well, I can say this, I started back in October when they asked me, and I'm not 100% sure, but I can say that it takes about an hour per second to shoot, and about another hour for visual effects. And the visual effects for Mustafar took about two to three hours for each shot. Also, the set for the high ground took about four hours, so a long time. I love the spinning effect at 116. How did you do it? I used the false. In all seriousness though, I just animated it like that. There was no trick. How do I make my lightsaber effects? So, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but what I do is that I rotoscope each lightsaber onto a white solid. So then once I do that, I basically duplicate the layers a bunch, and then I make sure that there's a black layer underneath the white layers that make up the composition, and then I pre-compose it, and then I blur each one using the Gaussian blur, and then once I do that, I have to put each pre-composition on screen mode, and then I get something like this, and then I use the color balance, and the color balance basically just adds color to it, but I need to make sure that I have the black solid on underneath, because if I turn that off, it'll still stay white, so that black solid's kind of important. But yeah, then I get something like this, and it looks pretty cool. And then when the lightsabers turn on, I use this lightsaber clash video that I have, and then I turn down the color so then it's just black and white, and then I use the same color balance as I did on the lightsaber blade for this guy, and then it looks like it just turns on. Boom. And then that's how I do it. Also, if you guys really want, let me know in the comments below if you want me to go into a in-depth, full tutorial on how I make my lightsabers in After Effects. How do I do my mouth animations? So, first things first, I drew each of these mouths for the LEGO dudes. And then what I do is that I put all the mouth images into After Effects. And then I listen carefully to the audio from the clip. I line up each mouth to the appropriate part on the composition. And then once I do that, I basically pre-compose the whole thing. And then I have to track it onto the LEGO dude so it looks like it's actually part of his face. And then I adjust with color settings, brightness, and blurriness in order to make it look like it's real. And basically the same thing applies to Anakin's mouth when he's frowning, when he still has his light side eyes. What? It's just that I had to erase the mouth, which was very, very tedious. How did you do the lava? So this effect is actually a lot more simple than you might think. Uh, I just took a 16 by 32 plate and stuck on some orange and yellow bricks. And then on top of those bricks, I just stuck on some translucent red, yellow, and orange studs. And then the parts where I needed the lava, I just animated this plate across the screen. And then I took that element separately and stitched it all together so it looked like it was just this one big flowing thin lava. And then I just put that into my green screen once I stitched it all together. And I put some motion blur on it, made it a little bit glowy. And boom, you got lava. Kind of a simple effect. Please make all a fight of Anakin vs. Obi-Wan with this quality of stop motion. It's amazing. Hmm. I'll think about it. Yeah.